Hey Love Nuts, it's Janet from Canada. I am finally going to show you my favorite wallet of all time, the Kickflip 2. I like it better than Kickflip 1, better than the Kickflip 3. They made some changes to the Kickflip 3 that I don't really appreciate, although they did make some changes that I do appreciate. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the things that I really like, the changes that I didn't like very much, um, and I'm going to show you my three Kickflips. Dun, 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 dun. This is my original Kickflip 2 in watercolor black. She is wearing her wristlet strap today. The inside of the watercolor black is pink. Hiding inside this kickflip is a crappy old checkbook, which I'm just using to show you guys the size of this wallet. Like, it fits perfectly in that cash slot there. Uh, it does not fit in the phone slot very well. Just a little bit too short. And it actually fits behind those credit card slots. There's like a wall of credit card slots right there. It fits behind there really well, too. Now, the wristlet strap attaches to a D-ring at the bottom left-hand corner of the zipper pocket there. So, it, it comes on and off really easy. Um, when you're not using it, you just tuck it in through that little hole, and it just stays hidden here at the bottom of the cash slot. Barely even notice it. When you want to attach your wristlet strap again, you just push that little D-ring back out the hole, and you can just barely see it there. It's really subtle. And then, yeah, you can really easily attach the clip to the D-ring, and there you have your wristlet strap. It's great when you just need to like run into the store and all you need is your credit cards and your phone. You don't need your whole purse, so you can just take that. Next, we've got the Garden Party Black Kickflip 2, which I got from one of our lug nuts here, Sandra. Thank you. On the inside, we have got this beautiful periwinkle blue color. I just love that color. It's probably my favorite. Now this one is sporting her crossbody strap. It attaches to these D-rings really easily. Now this strap is adjustable, so you could wear it as a crossbody bag or as a shoulder bag, or you can wear it as a belt bag. This is really handy, say if you're traveling or you're in a big crowd and you wanna keep your wallet close to your body, you can just wrap it around your waist and then tuck it under your hoodie. Now, here is the Cobalt Blue Kick Flip 2 that I got from Brienne here in the Love Note Lounge. The lining is just a lighter blue. Um, something I like about the Kick Flip 2 is this little privacy pocket inside that front flap. The Kick Flip 3s don't offer that anymore. Um, we've also got this little pen holder here, a bunch of card slots. And then inside, this one is holding a phone. So that little phone pocket there, it that's a six iPhone 6 Plus with an OtterBox case on it. It is huge and it still fits in that, um, that little cargo pocket inside the wallet and zips up completely. This is the number one reason I love the Kickflip 2. And that little pocket is even soft lined to protect your screen. So for some reason, they took away that phone pouch in the Kickflip 3, and we haven't seen another wallet with a soft-lined phone pouch since. Um, instead of this soft-lined phone pouch, they've given us another, there's a wall of card slots there with a large slip pocket on the back. They've given us another one of those on this side. So the Kickflip 3 is much better if you've got a bajillion cards and you don't really care about having your phone in your wallet safely against a soft lined pouch, um, then in that case it would be better for you that way. Now right in the middle here you can see this little slip pocket. This is something I don't really care for because you can't see inside so I always just forget that there's stuff in there. The new Kickflip 3, this is a clear, it's like a clear view zippered pocket so you can actually see what's in there. So if you've got, I don't know, coupons or business cards or whatever, you always know where they are and I do like that. Um, finally, on the new kick flips, there is a little clear view ID window right here. It is inside your coin pouch. So on the kick flip two, you just have a plain old coin pouch. On the kick flip three, you open this coin pouch and find a clear pocket here so you can keep ID in there or something. 
Um, if you want to see a better look at the Kickflip 3, I would recommend you head over to Lugnut TV. Jessie has both wallets, so she's able to show you the exact difference between these two, um, so you can get a much better view that way. So I, I don't, I don't really care either way if there's an extra ID slot here. It, it could be kind of handy, but it also, I don't know, maybe it kind of makes it look clunky in my opinion, like it doesn't belong there, but. But yeah, it could still be handy. Those are the main differences between the two. So now I'm going to show you how all the different ways that you can wear it. So this little guy can be worn full crossbody. We've got quite a generous strap here when you um, open it up completely. As you can see, we end up with another butt bag. We can tighten this up, which is, uh, this is how I wore it around England most of the time, as like a tight crossbody, just so I felt, you know, more secure having it right, right against my body. Like if you're, you know, traveling and again, you want to keep it really close to your body. That feels super secure. Okay, so that's crossbody. And obviously, if you wanted to go shoulder strap, you would just use the same, the same strap. However, I do find it's quite thin and flimsy for shoulder strap. Um, I feel like, I don't know, if you're going to have your wallet on a string, you probably want it, I don't know, a little more secure. Yeah. If you'd rather just carry your wallet around as a as a wallet, um, you can leave this on inside your purse so that, say, if you just have to run into the store really quick, um, you could just throw this on your wrist and wear it as a wristlet. Um, but the if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to have this strap on all the time, um, then you're going to want the kickflip two over the kickflip three. That is another change they made that I didn't like very much. This one, uh, you can remove the strap, but on the kickflip three, the strap is permanently attached through that little zipper loop. So if you want to get rid of that strap, you have to cut it off. Nobody wants to cut their lungs, right? Otherwise, I think that's a pretty good looking way to wear it. Kind of like a little, little bracelet wallet. And finally, the sneakiest way to wear it is as a belt bag. You can tuck this under a hoodie or a big sweater when you're traveling and you know it looks like you don't have a wallet at all. So maybe that makes you feel more secure. Um, or if you just want to be super stylish and kind of go along the lines of the coupe or the roundabout the carousel, then you can wear this as a hip bag on the outside of your clothes as well. Which is still pretty cute. I mean, to me, it's more obvious that it's a wallet, whereas like the coupe, it actually looks like it's supposed to be a hip bag. Um, but I don't know. Other than the fact that my the colors of my outfit don't match today, um, I think it's pretty cute. Real quick here, I'm gonna try to show you my favorite coordinates for my three kickflips. For the watercolor black kickflip, there is a really dark teal in there that I think goes really well with my Emerald Courier. We have also got some purples in here. So for our Concord fans, I think these coordinate pretty good. You would think olive would go really well with this, but the green in Garden Party Black is not quite the same green as olive nor is it the same green as chartreuse. It's kind of just something in between. There is absolutely no yellow in here, and yet, I love this with amber yellow. Once again, we've got a few pops of teal, like that little flower right there, so my emerald courier goes quite nicely. Of course, shimmer pink seems to go with everything, there's even this little dusty pink color here, which goes really well with the shimmer pink. But I suspect that Garden Party Black is gonna go really well with that new blush coupe color. You can kind of see it in this little, that little pink wheat there. Cobalt Blue, it goes okay with Dragonfly Malty. It goes pretty darn good with Botanical Black. But I think everybody's favorite is Wildflower Multi. It really brings out the blue tones in this print. And that's it. That is my review of my favorite wallet in the whole wide world, the Kickflip 2 by Lug. Clearly it gets 10 snowflakes from Jana from Canada. Don't forget to check out Jesse's video on Lugnut TV. I'll throw the link in the description here uh, so you can decide better if you want the Kickflip 2 or the Kickflip 3. And once you make your decision, head over to the Love Nut Love Life Lounge on Facebook and let us know which Kickflip you got. Take off, eh?